Hello everybody, unfortunately there's no way to uh, go back in a live game so we're going to start a little bit in turn one here. We've got uh, the NAF kickoff, round 16 match between Frickape and his humans up against Nuru. No, Nuru and his humans <laughs> up against Frickape and his underworld. Frickape has three bribes on his team. Which is insane. That you can't see that oh, you can't see them there because they're on there. It's really annoying because they they don't they don't mesh with who who you think would be the home team always. So it's very annoying. So yeah, so three bribes is pretty wild. And apart from that, it's got juggernaut, tackle, two heads, block, leader. You know, us, usual stuff. So he's got he does have three re rolls, but only fifteen players. To pay for the three, I think three bribes is too many. Honestly, I think, I think two bribes and sixteen players would have been better. But you know, he's gone for three bribes, which is very a lot of bribes. You know, he's really committed to high rolling here. Um, Nuru's gone with a pretty standard human team again. The three guards, the mighty blow, the tackle. I, I, everyone does this. I, I, I would rather have an extra guard. And then he's gone wrestle on the catcher instead of block. Interestingly, most people went block on the catcher, but he has gone wrestle, and uh, there's another catcher, and there's probably a thrower somewhere as well. Maybe not. Yeah, there's a thrower there as well. So pretty standard. I oh, easier to check like this, isn't it? So you can see the two catchers, the thrower, and the blitzers, and the underworld is just an awful, horrendous mess of colours. <laughs> but there you go. So that's the uh, that's the ting, as it were, and yes, keep this time. This is naff, so we can we can update that. And I guess uh, I guess Nuru's just gonna not Nuru Frickape is just gonna foul every single turn. No dirty player here. Quite a few people like the dirty player combined with bribes. Oh, I play on Xbox. Oh no! <laughs> That's great. <isn't> it? <laughs> Amazing. Yep, yeah, it's instantly in for the foul. Gets a Kaz. It's just a lineman though, isn't it? So, does he bribe a snotling getting sent off? He does. I mean, it's a pretty decent trade, isn't it? Bribe for a bribe for a lino. Obviously, he's like just a complete basic lino. Would have been way better to have got one of the positionals out with that foul, but. Still got two bribes. Like, you know, he's committed to this strat, right? This is this is what he's doing. He's just going to try and knock someone over and gang foul them every single turn until all of his bribes are used up. And it's it's not a bad it's not a bad strat. He's got two heads for the. It's obviously sidestep for the one turn would be nice, but he's got two heads for the one turn. Juggernaut and the Roger for the one turn. So you know he can basically not bother with defense and just try to uh, foul every turn. And you know you can still keep the, keep the middle solid like this. If you keep the middle solid, you know people people struggle. Stupid, stupid ogre. But he gets a a mighty blow. He didn't need this, did he? Oh, he's just going to block him without with a with a lineman. No, he's done that. didn't need that one, did he? Oh, he did. There's a snotling behind him. I didn't see the snotling, so he's got the guard in these two. Yeah, now Nuru has got to worry about players getting exposed and uh, picked off by a Rogue a blitz and a snotling foul. I 
That's a very close cage, isn't it? That is a very close cage. I'm sure Frickapair will be tempted to uh, get the roll grin on the ball there. Not. That's why I maybe wouldn't have used the bribe on him. <laughs> Instantly cast. So we could go for a big gang foul on the ogre here. Eh? That's pretty tempting. That is pretty tempting. Obviously. Oh, completely abandoned your defense the other option is to blitz this guy, you can blitz him in as well 1, 2, 3, 4 5, can hit him like that in fact he could go 1, 2, 3 4, 5, 6, no that's too much 1, 2, 3, 4 and then 5th square hitting him and then if you get a push and then hit push him again you get a massive gang foul on him so it's pretty exciting that isn't it it's actually, I mean I say exciting you know what I mean <laughs> Not obviously not actually exciting, but that can be pretty powerful. As he's cancelling this for the 3D, so if he gets the push into the power, he can get a huge gang foul. Oh, I, I don't like this. I think that guy could have. Oh, okay, that was, was not doing. Not doing what I wanted at all. <laughs> Killed him though. Kill something dead. Yeah, I much prefer. I much prefer coming around the outside. You can get him into there. I mean, that would have been the obviously the best possible spot to foul him. And then, uh, and then also like your rogue is more centralised as well. Whereas if he if he pushed and then powered, the rogue is pretty much stranded. And it's not looking good, whereas this you could have centralized your ogre and put him into an absolute horrific like million assist foul. So Fuck off baby. Little bit of a mistake there from Frickapir, in my opinion. I guess this lets him uh, you know, guard the sideline a bit. Whatever. Dimrath's here. Hello, Dimmy. Well you finished work. Do you wanna come in and do comms? Hello, Samich. Also, Dimmy, are we going to play Euro Bowl practice sometime? <laughs> oh, he'll jump in. Glorious. There might be a streaming extravaganza coming your way, guys. Dimmy's knob <laughs> versus... Dimmy's knob versus Jimmy's minnow. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited for that. Just the tackle blitz. See, this is the thing. This is why I don't like the mighty blow one, right? Like, you're just not mighty blowing that much. You're generally tackling to get a tackle guy, or you're just generically attrition blitzing. And if you're generically attrition blitzing, well, then you've already got your ogre to do that. You know, he can do it on three dice. It's getting better knockdown odds versus block characters, at least. Hello, Jimmy. Hello, Jim. You alright, mate? Yeah, I'm alright, thanks. How are you? Yeah, not too bad, mate. Not too bad. Not too bad. Have you been not at, too shabby. Been at work till late, have you? I have. I have. And then I put the dog out, and I'm all set to uh, watch this. Glorious. Is that a catcher with a ball? It is, yeah. A wrestle catcher. A wrestle catcher. An interesting thing. Yeah. The catchers are like, 
harder to tell apart on BB3, definitely. Aren't they? they are, yeah, yeah. It's it's <laughs> good to use the uh, the Z circles. Thing. Yeah, you can see it. And then you can be my wingman anytime. Ah, uh, the blue. You can be my Sol. Raid. A raid from Sol. Hello, Sol. I didn't even see you playing in the live games. I, I looked around for games. I saw Chunter playing Page, and I saw uh, I saw Artemis playing. Beautiful <laughs> message for you, Jim. Fuck you! Wow, that's a bit mean, isn't it? So it's a little bit mean. Is Noru the uh, humans here? Yes. And Prickapay is on the world, is he? Yes. Yeah. Correct. Humans. Yeah. It's a little bit on the rude side, but thank you for the massive raid. But uh, wow, a little bit mean. I can't, can't, can't pretend I'm not a little bit hurt by that. Mm. <laughs> I mean, Broad I'm not a little bit hurt, obviously. <laughs> He's really upset. He's going to cry himself to sleep, and yeah. I'll have to hear about it all night. So. <laughs> Cheers, mate. <laughs> This is better, and he get, now he gets the blitz in for a big foul. Big foul. But he's stunned. Will he foul anyway? He might do. He's got one snotting left to foul with. No, that's true. Yeah, that's your idol, isn't he? <laughs> that was. That was. I think it was somebody, wasn't it? I think it was some cyanide employee was like, why don't you talk to your idol in his discourse? Oh, I saw that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, nah, you did the Chunter vs. Page. I tried to do the Chunter vs. Page game, but then Page took a turn. And, uh, <laughs> and then during that turn... <laughs> And question my will to live. <laughs> so, so, so stop casting that. <laughs> I take it this is live, right? Because uh, mm -hmm. it's, it's not going a million miles an hour. Yeah. Yeah. Are we on turn four the first half? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Ogre's getting point. Yep. Oh, if he dies, mate. If he dies, it'll be interesting. If he dies, he dies. Well, it sorts the one turn out, doesn't it? Mm. It does a little bit, yeah. But I mean, he's it not. Mean, it, mean, it means they have to roll, like, two dice instead of one. Like, it's, uh... mm. Oh, Page versus Chanter. Mm. How did that end? 1-1. Um, one, one. Oh, did it? Yeah, they both got their drive done. That just ended right, a boring, a boring bash mirror. <laughs> what? Chandler's playing bash. What's he playing? Yeah, I know. Right? Chaos. Just claw oh. chaos. Brainless okay. chaos. Fair enough. N not like Chandler at all, is it? A crappy draw. Did anyone good die? No, no. Uh, that's always the way with massive <laughs> chaos mirrors, isn't it? Nobody <laughs> dies. Like you're so excited when they spin into each other, and it's a <laughs> pillow fight. <laughs> no, Ch badly hurts. Chunter was the one that took perms. Page just got three badly hurts. Yeah, it always badly hurts, isn't it? And like, how <laughs> unlikely is a badly hurt now? It's just ridiculous. Yeah, yeah. Page just kept putting three players in columns. It was great. <laughs> Page created the conga line strat of just, just random, <laughs> random three players in a line. <laughs> I don't know why, but he did it. That's what he did. Um, the old skills, Magnus, is... Um, oh, what, how to get him on BB3? I, I probably need to steal that off you at some point. And there you go. <coughs> the BB2 icons, and then text injuries, because, like, fucking injuries are a nightmare, right? Like, there's, they, they all look the same, so this one actually just tells you badly hurt. Uh, because now, like, it's something like serious injury and seriously hurt. So it's just like that. Even that's much harder. And, like they've got stupid icons that you can't tell them apart. Like it's, it's fucking awful. Just even telling you, oh wow, there's a death. Dead, dead, dead. Dead, dead, dead. <laughs> He's dead, Jim. 
He's dead. Is that the mighty bloke? Or is that the one? No, no it's no, the one no, behind no. him. Uh, three, oh, ca three cars oh. already. Like two Oh, deaths. he's killed a guard. Ooh. Yeah, this is, uh, this is looking really bad. This is everyone's experience of Underworld ever, Jim. This is, ev <laughs> this is every game against Underworld. This well, is it's, it's not been so far in this tournament. You know, we've seen Underworld lose, uh, lose, you know, and not really do a lot on their way out. But uh, this game, oh. yeah, this game's been more, more well, Underworld-y. Well, Cy si and I have obviously not coded it correctly because <laughs> this is every game of Underworld ever. <laughs> yeah. Just a completely dead team on your turn five. <laughs> yeah, this is why I this is why I didn't think about going dark elves. You know, I just like this. This is a high yeah. roll, obviously, from from the underworld. But oh, it's disgusting. And then the, and then like you like you, you've cast seven hundred players and they've only got nine hundred left on the pitch, and you're <laughs> just like. <laughs> And then and then they got like side steppers, so you get no one turn against them. Like like unless you're a genius. It's like yeah. they're just toxically brilliant. Yeah. Yep. Cheers, Sol, and uh, hello, hello, Sol viewers. And, uh, yep. yep. Yeah. Gonna get some dinner and put some clothes on. Oh, I don't think he'll put clothes on. Yeah, probably not. <laughs> he doesn't need him with all his bloody hair, does he? Bloody hell. <laughs> yeah, he's already he's already wearing a turtleneck. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You might have to trim him, make him into mattresses and that. <laughs> he needs a shearing. <laughs> yeah, that's it, isn't it? <laughs> the one turn against three sidestep is actually really easy as long as you have 14 players on the pitch. And you know the team yeah. that can do that? Underworld. <laughs> yeah, with all the one plus, like the two plus dodges as well. Oh my mm. god, Titchy, Titchy. <laughs> I hate Titchy so much. <laughs> so broken. Yep. <clears throat> now are we going for the are we going for the stupid ogre or are we going for the uh, mighty blow guy? The mighty blow guy could be good, right? Could 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 push him out and foul him. But then of course you're getting hit back by the ogre, which isn't great. Yeah, I don't options. think I think we're going for the is that a blitzer? I have no idea. No, that's a lino. Yeah, I, I think um, I go for the lino and then base the ball. Yeah. Leave the ogre on that snotling. Ogre on the snotling is pretty nice, isn't it? That's a pretty yeah, nice try. Yeah. Yeah. Flip then, that guy. But then also he's a defensive assist, right, for him hitting your ogre. So, like, you could go for the mighty blow. This is interesting, you know? Could go for the uh, guard as well. Oh, wow. Well, here we go. We're going to see animal savagery, the best skill in the game. Oh, is he biting? Oh, he's just biting the blocker, isn't he? Is that a lime rat, that blocker? That's not a blitzer. Oh, you only get one blitzer, what am I about? What happened there? What? Oh, he fell over and now he gets back up again, does yeah, he? Oh my yeah. god. Yeah. <laughs> what is this game? Oh my god. <laughs> what is this game? Because he was prone before he activated him, so he goes I know. back down. He, so he goes back down to prone after hitting him. <laughs> That's that's what that's what is happened. that what they said it was? Well, yeah, that, oh. I mean that is what happened. Yeah, he was prone, right? So I mean, you don't do that on there. tabletop, though, do you? You well, don't of course just not, but... just pick him up and then put him back down again, and then pick him up and move him. Like, <laughs> what the what the hell? <laughs> You'd be chipping the crap out of your model, wouldn't you? Like, oh, he's moved. He's moved the snotling away. I don't like that. I quite like the yeah. Snotling. Ogre needs to be tied up. Yeah, mm. he hasn't even got block or anything, so it's like. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, I think I... Pure power. Like he's, he hasn't got any more dice against you than a human lineman has. <laughs> like did he, uh, really good did he move him for the foul? Because, I mean, he could have just fouled from the, the square down and at least he's still tagged. Oh, no, he didn't get fouled, did he? He didn't, didn't make a foul. There's only, uh, there's only yeah, no, a human Yeah, down. I don't... I, I wouldn't have moved that. Uh, it's no, not like no. that. Oh, yeah. Mighty blow doesn't apply. Oh, is that true? That's interesting, Sandwich. Yeah, probably. What? So, what? Because the animal savagery won't use Mighty Blow because he's prone. That doesn't make yeah. sense because he gets up to attack him, though. But he doesn't, though, does he? What? He does it when he's what, in BB3? Well, um, in, 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 in Blood Bowl 2020, probably. He doesn't attack from the floor. What are you on about? Why doesn't he? 
<laughs> oh my god. Who wrote these rules? Honestly. <laughs> Who wrote these rules? I've played 5,000 games of Blood Bowl and I still have no idea what half the rules are. <laughs> like, honestly. Imagine you being so fucking obsessed with rats that you're about to go on holiday and you... How does this like, interact with this? No idea. With the team. <laughs> just uh, pray just it never comes up. Yeah, none what of them know what they like. Why the fuck would anyone play Mate, I honestly don't... don't I, I don't know how to pass at all in 2020. When, whenever <laughs> someone passes in a game against me, I go, yeah, whatever. Yeah, fine. Like, he's like, this is 3+. plus. I'm like, it doesn't look like 3+, plus, but I've got no idea. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna roll a six anyway. Who cares? <laughs> oh man, this is, this thing is 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 Roger stranded now. You know, as predicted. Yeah, I mean, he's like he can't lose the Roger until at least he's one turn. After that, you don't give a shit. But like, let him get hit with mighty blow. And that's the thing. He just let him move the ogre. Like, yeah, it just the ogre would still be stuck now, right? Yeah. Is he gonna bite his last little snotling? Is he? Is he just gonna leave him on the floor? Um, yeah, I think he'll bite the snotling. Then he's just gonna get punched again, isn't he? It's, uh... yeah. I mean, there's not many humans left, to be fair. That's How the many thing, is isn't it? it? You're getting to the point now when you've got a real good chance of stopping the skull, so you probably <coughs> do want to stop him. Yeah, Three yeah, I guess or... uh, there won't even be a one turn, will there? Yeah. Oh my god, this rogue is garbage. <laughs> oh my god, it pisses, and then he does—he falls over. He doesn't even land in the right square, and then he then he gets teleported back into the square, and then he stands up again. Now, how does this get through testing? <laughs> Who goes? Yeah, that looks right, doesn't it? Testing. Yeah. I mean, I don't yeah. think they do testing. You but... need you need a thousand warp stone <laughs> to have a geezer. Get up, fall over, in the wrong square, teleport back to the right square, and then stand up. It's just like <laughs> yeah. I think I think the players just dodge with the carrier, right? Get this, get this tackle around to here. Mighty blow blitzes this guy, and then both catchers move up, and one's got to dodge away. I yeah, guess you could not... you could hand off. But <coughs> I think you just dodge. It's one in nine. It's not the end of the world, is it? Uh, it's not the end of the world, Jim. But it's. I can't believe that guard's free. He could switch back, actually, to be fair. He could use that guard. Because, like, it's he, he could join. Yeah. Oh, is it? Yeah. So, <laughs> so he's yeah. running out of time to switch back. Well, no, like, I quite like the switch back because you can use that guard as, like, the front, like, thing. Do you know what I mean? So, like, you can do, like, a sideline screen, blitz that goblin, and then you got the sideline screen. Use the guard as, like, the furthest forward You'd point. You'd have to, like, double GFI. I think this is much better, because it's... One, two, three, here. four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, actually, yeah. Figured yeah. about it. Rerolls that. I mean, the reroll in there is totally fine, right, with the new rules of multiple rerolls. Like, if you only had one reroll for the turn, you'd have you'd to have be, to like, think oh, about fuck, it, yeah. and just take the push, whereas now you can go for that reroll. Makes these pushes a lot better. I mean, the problem with the reroll is you still double skull, right? So it's like. Oh, yeah. But it makes like these kind of pushes a lot better. And then you can get, yeah. the, get, the, get the Kim down first. And then here we go. Go for the one in nine. And run him all the way down. He's going to fail this. And like, oh, he's got it. He's got it. What a dice in. Comedy mega, and yeah, all that time and effort for nothing in the end. <laughs> oh my god. No. I, mean, I guess you can get a. No, there's no gob the goblins miles away. Yeah, uh, I mean, you just want a one turn. <clears throat> there's like the humans aren't going to be able to defend a one turn properly anyway, are they? Because uh, half their team's dead. Yeah, so maybe just. How many rerolls is is this? He's got three rerolls for this as well. Yeah, so <laughs> I. I'll probably punch... i just punch everything let him score. Yeah. Yeah, it's not worth not worth risking your gutter in the A's. Or yeah, the you gutter. definitely... Yeah. Like, I mean, he has to protect that gutter from the mighty blow, so... He's he got a tackler, to... so he could have... Um, yeah, he what, can done the 4 plus, uh, he... 5, five, five yeah. plus dodge in for 2D. Yeah, he could do he that or he that. could... Um, 
He could he could have cyclist in for two D or he can blitz here and get. I mean, well, there. like the five plus, the five plus with the reroll isn't bad, and plus the fact that he's next to the sideline, like you could get the scatter out as well. Like it, mm -hmm. like it might it might have been worth it. It might have been. But this guy can get behind a bit, and then he can block with a roger, get this guy back. This guy can come back, so he can get quite a lot kind of in the way. Yeah. I think this guy's got a GFI to like, you know, hold the sideline. Yeah. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. So one GFI from him. And then probably two GFIs from him. And probably two GFOKs. I disagree with this move. Oh, disagree. Hard disagree. I think he had to be behind here. Because, like, this is too easy, just like 1D and then. Uh, He's got to protect down. his guard runner as well, man. Bloody. Uh, well, he doesn't have to do this turn, right? Because Nuru has to score, so. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, I mean, because he could just. Oh, well. well, yeah, he could just. He could he could smash the gutter runner with a mighty blow and just do a 3 plus dodge backwards and double GFI to score. Yeah. And, like, honestly, like, I fancy that two dice on that gutter runner with mighty blow. Has he got an apo? He has. He has uh, I. <laughs> Fails the dodge and kills himself. I hated that turn. He's got nothing in the way. Well, yeah, now he can chain the other geezer out, can't he? Oh, I guess the uh, he'd have to dodge for an assist. He's though. got a double GFI for the assist. Honestly, mate, just smash the gutter with 2D on the uh, mighty blow and then just dodge backwards and double GFI. One, two, yeah. Three. We haven't got dodge for it, but yeah, you've got rerolls. It's it's not even that bad. But I think he'll do the double GFI, yeah, which he's already done. Yeah, this is surely the correct play, right? Because if you power him, oh, it's a blitz round and then yeah. chain him, yeah. Yeah, yeah I just want to hit the gutter runner. Yeah. Like you're gonna you're gonna you're losing anyway, right? At this point, even if you score, you're probably losing, right? So it's if you kill the gutter runner, you, you're probably winning, whether you score or not. Yeah, I don't know. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. It's interesting. It is actually interesting as to whether. <coughs> it's, yeah, or... it's not like. Honestly, mate, like, if you get rid of the gutter runner on Underworld, like, you've. Like, you've trumped it, really. Mm. They're so crap without the gutter runner. Yeah, and there's a good chance he just one turns back now anyway, so. Yeah, yeah, he's just going to score, isn't he? Yeah. How many re He's got three re rolls. Oh, he's got three. What do you use a re roll on? I don't know. Oh, I don't know. What oh, the dodge, the dodge that led to his guy getting KO'd. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Has he got a thrower? Yeah, he's got yeah, the lead up thrower, yeah. He's got a thrower, yeah. <clears throat> so it's like, it's basically like a, a short hands pick up, a two plus pass. Whatever the gutter runner's catch is going to be, depending on how many tackle zones it is. You've got a roger that's guaranteed to activate, which is juggernaut, so anything that basically like both downs or pushes which is what 50% and then two dice that's like I don't even know it's 75. Like, yeah 75% and it's frenzy and you only need two pushes and you've got a runner mm -hmm. like, it's this guy like who who invented this team and he can't he can't defend the one turn because he's got enough players so he's just got to yeah this is what I'm saying he's and he's got this. two heads as well so it's like two yeah. it's two plus two plus two plus like just dodges down the sideline yeah it's absolutely outrageous yeah and the thing is I mean <clears throat> he's probably not going to do it but like because he's got frenzy like he he could even blitz through the back line if he wanted to but he doesn't need to like cause... no I think it's better to use the frenzy. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying is, is he could push him and then push him back. No, I know, but you haven't got jugs, right? That's the thing. You haven't got jugs then. So yeah, 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 that's true. Jugs. I mean, I would I would use the Blitz from the Rogue right anyway. Yeah, yeah. And I'd come right behind him and push him through that way. But you can probably get three or four pushes, like, doing it this way as well. So you don't even need the GFIs at the end of it. Yeah. <coughs> I... Or you're going all metally, uh, Tim, something's going wrong with think, you. I think, I actually think... Your mic's fucked, dude. Yeah, uh, goodbye, Cruel World. <laughs> goodbye, Cruel World? <laughs> <laughs> no, nobody cheers for Underworld, do they? 
So I think he's going to blitz this one, push him into there, push him into there, and push him into there. And then... He's another few, doesn't he? And then up into there, and then he can block him. So he'll get him three forward, and then no tackle zones. Why isn't he got somebody starting here? Oh, he's gonna he's gonna swarm to there. The swarmer comes on here, right? Yep. Correct. Oh my god! Just just to make it even easier. <laughs> <laughs> Solid defense. It's like, it's like... Solid defense. Oh, it's not so good, but oh, it's interesting, though, isn't it? It's interesting. Six players. Ooh. Oh, he's got to put someone on the rogue straight away. Yeah. Put someone on the rogue straight away. Yeah, that's exciting, isn't it? That might actually that might actually do something. And then yeah, make a wall. Yeah. Great. So like, how many players? Uh, how many players can he move? Six. Yeah, so he needs to tag the roger and then he needs to fill in the gap so he can't chain the gutter forward. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, isn't it? That's interesting. Super interesting. But tagging the old. I mean, they're still great. probably going to win. Gives yeah, just tag the rat ogre out, see if Gives him half a chance. Oh. You're going to put the rookie catcher it's on the roger. <laughs> like, you have to put somebody on the roger. Yeah, yeah, you just make the roger hit whoever's on their line, right? Yeah, you have to. Like, it's... There's no other option there. I don't even cheer for Underworld when I'm playing Underworld. Yeah, yeah. They're up there with dwarves. For... That's because he's playing a bunch of rookies in a tabletop <gasps> league, isn't he? What? No. No way, man. No way. Now he can just roll some two pluses with snotlings. <laughs> to fill Fuck this off, in. Dimmy. And then he can push in and push in and push in and push out. And this yeah, is this, he's actually... Button. He had to tag the roger. He had to tag the roger. He had to tag the roger. Uh, that's a catcher as well, isn't it? You could just, you could just go with the roger and blitz the catcher, right? Push it back. Uh, I guess that would be something. I guess it's two into one though, because it's guard on either side. Oh, he did the three. He did that instead of doing two pluses from the snotling. I'm pretty yeah, sure yeah, yeah, yeah. This is actually this is no. This is all right. What about? Because he's gonna chain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is fine. I don't know. I think two two pluses was better. He's got two rerolls. He wants to push. He wants to push that rat all the way through the tackle, though. Yeah, but like I guess now he's got. I guess now he's got a snotling to go somewhere else. But no, because he can oh, get him. Okay. He can get out. He can get him out of tackle zones, can't he? That's the thing. Yeah, well, he's he got the push there here. with the tackle guy. The tackle guy he can, can just push here. him and go left. And then he can get him completely clear. Yeah, and then this snotling can come around to there. So actually, maybe his way was better. He doesn't even. Yeah, yeah, this. I quite like this. I quite like this. Yeah, that's totally relevant. He probably shouldn't have even done that because now he's now. Oh no, no, he did. He wanted to power him. But he can just move, put an assist in there. He's running out of time, but he's got the time bank, so it's no problem. So he wants to move this snotling into here first. Where's the ball? Okay. No, he can if he if he hits him like back into the. Oh, it's powder. Yeah, so you probably just take the power and then, yeah, push him left. Yeah. If you got the push, you could have pushed him behind the tackle, run the snotling around, and got another push. <laughs> yeah. Well, he could have pushed him here and he could still got another push, right? Oh, I guess he hasn't got the assist. It, it, yeah, 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 because the guard makes the T, right? So it's... Uh, so you push the gutter behind the tackle and then dodge the snotling round in between the tackle and the lino, and then you take the hit with the geezer in the middle. 
It's just a one D though, isn't it? That's the thing. But you can just hit here as well, Dim. Right? You could you could have just moved the stocking to here. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. So you could have, you could have moved the stocking to here. So yeah, yeah. But it didn't. Yeah, you'd have got. Wait, what? I failed the pickup. <laughs> one in nine the pickup. After all that. Ha. <laughs> one in nine the pickup. Yeah, he had a he had a throw to get the ball. Well, there you go. The one turn fails. How many humans? Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine. Nine? Nine! And the rats are down to 13. Should have passed first. Uh, I don't think... He couldn't have, he couldn't have passed first cause, because of the PD. Like, he he was in, like, six tackles. Oh, well, no, he wasn't. Two. He was in, yeah. <laughs> two or three. Uh, two, I think. But either two, way, three. it was like... It was less than none. There was a chance he could have been in none, but I think it's worth... Probably, I don't know, it's hard, isn't it? With the multiple rerolls, makes it harder to work out. Super interesting, isn't it? Because obviously, you might be making the pass like a. Might be changing the pass from a 3 to a 4, or a 3 to a 5, or something. I don't know. Or a 2 to a 3, or a 2 to a 4. I don't know. Yeah, but he definitely made it easier with the way he set that up. I don't know why he just didn't tag the Roger. Yeah, yeah, you've got to attack the rogue. It's too good, isn't it? The rogue is just too fucking good. Underworld. Ugh. Disgusting. Are you playing the winner of this, are you? I was saying. No, or? no, I'm playing Andre. Oh, yeah. Did he smash the other guy, did he? He did, yeah. Yeah, he's under uh, Andre's underworld, isn't he? No, Andre's humans. Humans, uh it was basically this exact game he was playing against Underworld in almost the same teams. <laughs> oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. There's uh, two rounds that matter left, Seaboards. There's technically three rounds, but both finalists get get a ticket to the play-ins. So yeah, and there's no, there's no actual prize for this, is there? I think the there's prize the... is like Warpstone or whatever, so... Not yeah, really. There's, there's no price for this. So. <laughs> so, Not <laughs> really. <laughs> yeah. No oh, one's going to remember who won it. Like. A vicious ref uh, stunned the thrower, but uh, he's got a gutter runner there, so that doesn't matter. Oh, at all. I imagine he sent off the gutter runner. Oh my god. <laughs> it would have been amazing. No, see, Rose, everyone gets a naff built team. <laughs> Everybody gets a NAF built team for the uh, for the play-ins. Oh, what uh, for the so the B, the the top fourteen of ladder get NAF built teams today. The top um, fifty. Four, oh, is it? the top fifty-four of ladder, and then I the two was... winners of this get. I mean, more or less. Like it's hard to explain, but fifty-four yeah. people from ladder. And two from here make NAF teams, and then they've got to win two more to get that 56 down to 14. And then those 14 will join the two from the top of the ladder. In the oh, wow. Well, so, so the people in the NAF still have to go through the play ins afterwards to yes. qualify. Wow. Or yeah. <clears throat> well, at least they don't have to play. Bowl three, like more than five games, right? Exactly, yeah. This is the yeah. absolute minimum amount of games required to qualify, which is which is why I'm doing it. <laughs> yeah, mate, just get to the final and just concede. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll I'll be quite happy playing K Fog to be honest. <laughs> uh, I don't think you're you can't you're not allowed to concede in this, right? I'm sure. Probably not. Ogres getting stumped, getting stumped. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Does he do a run up? No, we'll, we'll know how we'll know how good he is, judging by what run up he Oh he's a poor player. <laughs> Didn't use the full movement. And that's this is why the ref caught him. Yep. And interesting he's he's arguing the call before using the bribes. Uh, obviously slightly it's more it. chance of getting sent off that that way, but then more chance of saving the bribe. Which is probably what you should do with snoppings, isn't it? I rolled a five on the argue to call diced. So it's, it's, it's hard to explain that Asian guy. Yeah, it's, it's literally no, hard to explain. That's all I'll say about that. Yeah, nobody knows, mate. It's, uh... Well, so the top two qualify automatically. 
then the next top 26. But It'll obviously not, necess not necessarily the top 26, because obviously they may oh, be it's multiple. The top two, it's the top two of each race is what no, I No, heard. no, 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 Dimmy, right, listen, I, I know exactly what it is. So the top two of the ladder qualify. Then the next 20... I've already forgotten. 26. Then the next 26 on the ladder, but without duplicates, qualify. Then after that, then it's the next two of each race. <laughs> And then that's that's the extra twenty eight. You see, so that's that gives you fifty six. No, that gives you fifty four, which then you add on to the two from this, which gets you to fifty six. It's really simple, <laughs> really simple. So there you go. Oh wow, uh, look at this! He split the team. <laughs> Basically, sounds insane. Yeah, but it, it's hard to work out because obviously people might have like people might have multiple teams in the top twenty six, might well twenty eight. In the top 28, people might have multiple teams. Like yeah, 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 that's well. right. Yeah. So, you know, then it might go down a bit, and then the top two from... So, yeah, we're basically at a point where anyone playing Blood Bowl 3 will qualify. Yes, more or less, yeah. Like anyone who's played more than five games is probably going to qualify. <laughs> well, anyone who's good, who's played more than ten games, will probably qualify. Yeah, yeah. It'll be more interesting than this because I the, the thing with this is a good tournament and stuff. It's just the the way they it was just a lottery. Like there's some really really good coaches in this, and then I've seen one or two that just don't obviously play blood bowl or like or haven't played a great deal of it. So it's yeah. it's a really weird range of skill level. Like like tabletop events. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess. And that's the thing with tabletop with the Swiss and that, is like, by day two, like, if you've had a good day one, like, everyone you play is pretty good. Or wow. at least know what they're doing. Right? Not necessarily. This is round three, so the people, the people, all the people who've got here had won two games to get here. <laughs> yeah, know? yeah. Like, this is basically Swiss, except you don't see the losers rounds. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's true, yeah. <laughs> Um, I've got no idea how Euroball works at all. I know you can make a Euroball team on Fumble, so like I'll look at yeah. the rules and I'll make a Euroball team with m Beastmen and Minotaurs, and I might make a Euroball video. When is Euroball, Dimmy? Uh, it's in October. It's either the first weekend or second weekend of October. Oh, wow, so, so it's very soon. It's either like the sixth oh, no, or the twelfth. That's not 12th. very soon. October. Next year, yeah, Next yeah, year, yeah. yeah, yeah, all right. So Euro Bowl, there's no qualifiers for. So you've got Euro Bowl and you've got Europa. And Euro Bowl is you have to be selected by your national team to play in Euro Bowl. Um, so you, nobody except the top players play in Euro Bowl. Euro Open is a competition that runs side by side with that that anyone can play in, provided you've got a ticket and you go to Greece. <laughs> <laughs> And like you've got a team, so they're two different competitions that play with the same rule set. But yeah, Euro, Euro Bowl is only for the national teams, like England, France, Italy, and all that. And they only have one team in each of eight, and they have eight in their team. Whereas Euro Open is squads of four. Mm. So not this anyone. sounds almost as easy as how the how the ladder's gonna work. For... Oh, you know, you know, no, 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 it's, it's it's like basically there's one for like the tryhards, the the national teams, and then you've got your open, which is any anyone can play in it. There are some very like good coaches who play in your open, obviously. Yeah. Um, and obviously winning your open would still be like a massive achievement, right? Like, that's the real world cup, isn't it? Like the the, the yeah, Euro yeah. is the real world cup because it's actual national teams. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's so fucked up. Like honestly, they need to sort that out. <laughs> it is a bit weird. Yeah, I agree with that. Like the World Cup is like just it's not even national teams, and they don't have a separate competition for it. It's just everyone in the same pot, mm. and they don't they don't ne necessarily. Like, they're not all from England. You can have, like, English, Spanish, French, and that all on the same team who can win it. And then who knows who they said won the World Cup. But generally speaking, you get, like, French teams and Spanish teams and English teams, but you get a few mixed bags as well. Yeah. Well, the team yeah. split didn't pay off because he only had six players, so he couldn't do anything yeah. except that. <laughs> yeah. 
He's just bleeding out. I I mean, like for the underworld, it's interesting. Like, I like. Do you even bother? I guess like you should bother stalling it out until sixteen. But yeah, like, he's got catches, he? with the amount of players, like, you, you could just bang it in. Like, I don't mm. know. It's just, I but guess it depends how confident you're feeling. It's all about the confidence. <laughs> Well, I mean, there's a chance that he doesn't win the toss in overtime, right? So if he scores, like, he's got the numbers advantage. Like. But the thing is, if you score early, then that's just like losing the toss in overtime, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, I guess, I guess. So, might as well just it's stall gonna it be... out. It's going to be, yeah, I guess. Stall it out and foul. And, like, obviously if something yeah. crazy happens, like his roger dies, then he can bang it in <laughs> or something, but... uh he hasn't got an hasn't got an apple, has he? He appled the uh, he appled the roger just then, I think. I think the uh, roger yeah. got KO'd and he appled it. I mean, this isn't gonna be this isn't gonna be an easy stall for him. See, I was He's kind of like attention. <laughs> I think, uh, yeah. Like, I th like I get it because obviously the humans came like at him, but like this is looking like an early score already. Yeah. And he's going to struggle to stall this out for. Uh... I think maybe he should have blitzed this skink, this snot thing, and then, uh, you know, got everything back. Like, block this yeah, yeah, and then blitz yeah, this yeah, snot yeah. thing with either tackle or mighty. And then bring some guys back and then, like, GFI with the ogre and get the ogre in. Like, look, the ogre could have got to here, right? And then, like, been on three guys. And then had some players in the front as well. He hasn't used it. Has he? No, he hasn't. Yeah, it's super annoying how there's no icon when it happens. Oh my god. What's that? There's no icons when like people get removed, so like you've got no idea if like they're badly hurt. Oh, who's got it? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't like that because he's just not getting not getting in the mixer enough, is he there, that catcher? Like, okay, he's assisting the hit, but like I'd rather him go back eight, get in front of the ball. Yeah, he could have like really like turned the screw and forced the pressure in like like you say, if he blitzes that snotling, like if he powers it he can get the ogre in behind the leader and the goblin. Mm. Oh no, is he double based? He was, was double based, but he was oh, able to block right. him. But he blocked him anyway, so he could have blocked him and then see if you power him. And then if you power him then you could have done that blitz. But I think this catcher was about here, wasn't he? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think this catcher should have come up and not and just not made this hit. And in fact, he's freed him. He's helped him because he's freed. He's freed this guy. I much prefer just leaving him, based mm. off, and then bring the catcher back. Do, 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 do. Oh, so, hang on. So, oh no, he's got two catchers. One of them's rookie. Okay, yeah, yeah, I see him there. Yeah. Imagine going wrestle and not bloody lodge. It's weird, isn't it? It's really. I don't weird. know. Yeah. I mean, it's all right if you can blodge one and wrestle the other, but. Not having a blodge catch it, for yeah. I mean, like, that's like planning for the best, right? Yeah, it is a bit, yeah. Because like, it's like, well, my ball carrier is not going to get hit, so he doesn't need skills. Bit mm. risky. Whereas I know I'm terrible at blood ball, my ball carrier is getting hit every other turn. <laughs> <laughs> so just have faith in blodge. <laughs> But I mean, there's there's just times in games where you just cannot protect your ball carrier, right? Like especially yeah. when you you're playing against like some high level players, like you are gonna get hit at some point. Right? Yeah, that's why I want block on my carrier, but I wish yeah. I had a guard. Honestly, I, three guard is pathetic versus like. Yeah, you know, it's that's it's one of them things, isn't it? Like you need <clears throat> it ramps up with power the more you have it, right? It's... Yeah, yeah, I should have gone four guard in the night. but never mind. <clears throat> Eight people that even play Blood Bowl in my country. What country? Where? What country are you from? Swell? <laughs> it's got to be more than eight people. I tell you what, like if there's not, then I'm sure there'll be some Englishmen willing to uh, convert to, <laughs> <laughs> to your there'll be some your nationality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> There will probably be some people on the fringe of the Welsh team who uh, <laughs> swear allegiance to Croatia. Croatia? I, 
Is there? I, I'm sure there's um there's a like a post about where because there's guys in uh, was it there's a South American country that right has like table. There was someone. I think it's San posted a thing where all the tournaments are globally, and uh, I think it was Peru. They have mm -hmm. like three tournaments a year or something. There's there's been blood bowl tournaments in South Africa as well. But like not many, like, and you can imagine, there's like not many people who go to them. But they're like actual NAF registered t <laughs> tournaments and stuff. I can imagine there's probably more Croatians than you think that play Blood Bowl. Or maybe not. I don't know. It's, I, I know of at least two Blood Bowl. Yeah, isn't Plovac Croatian? Is he or is he from Czech Republic? I think. I think. More I think he's, is Croatian. he's Croatian. Yeah, I think he's Croatian. I think he is. And then there's uh, Boban, of course. He plays Blood Bowl. Boban? Yeah, yeah, he plays Blood Bowl. What, the footballer? Yeah. No. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Shut the gate, Jim. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's a well, well known tabletop enthusiast. <laughs> Modric playing bloody. Yeah. Shuka. <laughs> yeah, mate, it must be so hard. Like, imagine, yeah, imagine living in like a country that doesn't play a lot of blood ball. It would be, it would suck, wouldn't it? I mean, tabletop. For me, it would. Yeah, right, for so. me, it would. For me, it would definitely. I know you're probably taking the piss, but. Yeah. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I mean, like, to be honest, I, until this year, there wasn't really, like, a massive amount going on in the southeast of England. Like, a lot of it's up north. Like, I, I would say that most of the good Blood Bowl tournaments are up north in England. Mm -hmm. But this year, we've, there's been some pretty good stuff down south. So, hopefully, we're mm -hmm. seeing it get more and more popular. He's already used his blitz, so he's in a bit of a pickle here, trying with his ogre and stuff. I think he's just realised that he probably should have. Nah, this the is... engineer ogre hits. It's the underworld turn, isn't it? What are you yeah, they, so they, but he can't hit the ogre. Like he can't hit the ogre, right? This is the problem. There's a snotlin there. He can. It... Oh wait, you're saying it's one into one. Hmm. So he's like, how does he deal with this guy here? Because there's a guard, right? So he's he's got got a goblin and then the ogre's got guards so the goblin can't hit this guy. I can't guy. see. What's in front the of the rat ogre? Guy. The goblin. Well can't he, yeah, can't the goblin hit that guy that's next to the ogre he and then like stay there? assists. Yeah, and he can get him. Oh, and then the ball's, he's already moved the ball, hasn't he? Mm. There's one. Yeah, this is uh, this I mean, is, you could uh, do it, right? You could take these two out. And you could, yeah, yeah, yeah. You Let's do it. Do it. It's a bit sloppy, yeah. yeah but it's, it's a bit sloppy, yeah. But it's a little bit sloppy. Oh, animal savagery, best skill in the game there, look. Just done Easy the zone fire, Oh, yeah. And then puts himself on the ground. Brilliant skill. Yep. Oh, himself. my... No! Oh. Great skill. Great skill, guys, you know. He could have just... Oh he could have just boneheaded, but instead he's cast himself. Great skill. I mean, like, <laughs> to be fair, like, any big guy can do that. Like, that's nothing to do with animal savagery. Well, it was. He rolled a one. If he, if he, had, if he had a bonehead, he just... Oh, just no, dog. but I mean... If, oh, right, I see what you're saying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> instead, he hit one in... That's not how Blah Blah works, Jim. That's not how Blah Blah works. <laughs> I mean, that's massive for uh, Noru, man. Yeah, it's Bloody huge, yeah. yeah. That's like when like, you're, you're getting your ass kicked and then something terrible happens to your opponent and you <laughs> sat right in front of them and you're like, yes! <laughs> Come on! <laughs> yeah, and he's one nil up as well. Like, Nuru's one yeah. nil up, so this is, you know, if he, if he rolls some dice here and does the right moves, he can, he can win this. Yeah. High fives all down the row of players, like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like really get into their emotional psyche. <laughs> yeah, it's not a bad idea. It's actually not a bad uh, idea, yeah. is it? Like, you know, the, the... bust out a cartwheel, you know. <laughs> oh man, imagine! First time in twenty years. <laughs> pull your pull your hip out. Pull your back out. <laughs> <laughs> should have moved the guy first. Should have moved his throw first there, shouldn't he? That was a bit of a mistake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it, it could probably rush your blood, wouldn't it? Rush your blood. 
I mean, it's alright if you hit with a thrower as well, I guess. But... It's in a pretty nice shape now. Yeah, he's got we'll a see... bad spot with thrower. We'll see. Oh, and it's turn 14 for, for PK. Hmm. Oh, he might. He's he's probably going to panic and do the one D blitz on the mighty blow. Is my prediction. That guard and the, that's really annoying because the guard and the wrestle kind of want to switch places. But yeah. No. Oh, I wouldn't have moved. You know, well, I guess actually. Mm, yeah. I mean, if he boneheaded, it was. Yeah, but he wasn't really doing anything there anyway. I think the idea if... was probably was probably to move this blitzer. You know, over here, here or here, yeah, and then, and then rely on activating the ogre. Oh well, actually, no. The play was to move the thrower first, so the thrower was here. Then move this guy over here or here. Yeah, and yeah, then, yeah. And, and he could have put the catcher. He could have put the catcher in behind the mighty blow, right? Yeah, yeah. Catcher in behind. Yes, yeah, so one of them. Something like that. Whereas now he's left that sideline clear, and Push, I think we yeah. will see the one D. I think we will see the one D. I don't, I don't really see anything else on like unless he wants to switch. He is switching. Yeah, this is... I mean, there's not much that can come with him, though. That's the... Yeah, humans are fast. So... Humans are fast. Mm. Full victory screech on an opponent's critical snake. <laughs> and he's going to be relying on some... Uh, three thrusters there. Uh... Yeah, because he's not going to be able to protect this ball without making a free plus, at least one. Oh, he's just oh, okay. Yeah, no, he can. Yeah, yeah. Is this for the ladder, that Asian guy? Do you want me to explain the the super simple ladder qualification again? <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. I guess he he could probably put that snotling out as well. You know what? I like the snotling wrapped round the back there. Like, not like that way, on the opposite side of the goblin. Mm. So like... I don't know, it's hard to explain. Like, yeah. two two squares left of the goblin and one forwards. Yeah, I've already, I've already done it, Tim. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that, that one, yeah, yeah, that beautiful square. That beautiful <laughs> square there, Tim. That's yeah. where I would have liked that. It's not yeah, really. I quite like that as well, yeah. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> and his, his gutter runner is not in range, which is problematic. It is, yeah, yeah. It's just good news for the uh, humans. They can like, yeah, immediately they've got a turn to reset. Yeah. yeah, you just you put the mighty blow back and go, go on, mate. Like, yeah. None of your players are fast enough to keep up with them. Yeah, I mean, I would have put the tackle back, but the tackle's already moved. So, <laughs> so now you've got to bring the mighty blow back, and then you've got at least something there. Yeah. And he hasn't even got the emergency score. It's hard though, isn't it? It's hard to roll dice and to, like you, you really don't want to do the GFI because obviously if you fail it, you're just going to lose the game. But then, because you don't do the GFI, you might lose the game, even though you haven't quite lost it yet. Yeah. He hasn't blitzed yet, is he? So I guess he's going to go for the ball sack. Uh. 3-2 two to 2-D the ball. Yeah. Yep. Oh. He's down to one re-roll. Oh, and he double ones it! Oh, my God. Disaster for Nuru. Absolute disaster. Uh, and then he can get... It's quite interesting, this, though. Like, does he want to blitz the wrestle? Blitz the tackle. And then... Blitz the well, he could just leave the goblin on the tackle. He could blitz the wrestle with the line right at the back, and then yeah, he's got like a screen with the snotling and the leader. Yeah, no, not terrible. And like you want to keep the wrestle on the floor, really, don't you? Like in the tackle, you just want you don't want none of that noise from the tackle. Yeah, I, I want to knock him down so that I can get away from him, you know. Yeah. Because if you blitz him, then you're getting then you're getting this goblin free as well. And then this guy, this snotling can dodge through to like you know complete the screen up here. You yeah, you don't, you don't actually two, need three, to go that far five. forward, do you? Yeah, well, I, mean, I would, I would go like I would go super far forward with a gutter, 
Oh and mate, he could he could there. actually bring it. Look, because that that rat's on the floor there. Like he's free completely. He could blitz the tackle and then run the gutter runner through the left. Like and behind that something. Oh yeah, just through this way. Yeah, one two. Yeah, three, yeah, that's so, so, like incredibly so. easy, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, he's yeah, gone. Yeah. He's gone too far. Yeah, that's he, that lad went too far. I guess he can bring that other line rat round the back. Well, I was going to blitz with that line rat. Maybe he blitzes with the leader. No, he doesn't. He does that. Right, okay. Oh, Kaz him. <laughs> Kaz is the tackler. <laughs> yeah, we didn't want tackle anyway, Jim. No, I mean, he's got to up all this because there could be overtime. Um, I mean, he's heading for overtime, in fact. <laughs> it's but, heading yeah. for overtime now. Never mind, could be. Now it's actually heading for overtime. Yeah, now he can just run through this gap yeah and then like mm. just he's i like oh. is it yeah and then he'll just base with the snotling on the wrestle yeah, cap he's gone right. too far you're right he's gone too he far. has yeah 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 why is he here this is just know. a free hit at the moment i mean he can stand him up obviously he's got to stand him up but you know, the ogre can just hit him and then 2D the ball, so he's got to do he's got to do some other rolls here. One, two, three, four. When oh, he five, could have, yeah, seven, he could have just been like five. a, even one square back, well, probably two squares back. But. Mm. Well, he's got the, this is what I meant, like, is he could have used the line rat that he blitzed with and moved him behind to complete the screen and then blitzed with the leader, but mm. he didn't do that either. I mean, this all kind of works, doesn't it? Yeah, it does, yeah, yeah. I mean, there's, there's several ways. Although he's, he's still not safe around the back, is he? Oh, it's oh, a I goblin, guess. so he gets to he gets to totally show that up. Yeah, this is, and then his tackler gets to power him. Oh my god! So yeah, this is this is pretty this is pretty safe now. Yeah, this is pretty safe. Disgusterous. Disgusterous. I guess you can just go for the hit on the ball, right? Just dodge him, tag the goblin, and then you 3 plus, 5 plus to 2D the ball. But without re-rolls, just go for it. Not, not, nothing else is going to work. Oh no, you could you could even go around. You can go around, 3, 2, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, GFI, GFI. 3, 3, 2, 2. That's what he can do. Three, three, two, two. Two D the ball. Three, three, two, two. But I mean, he could. He, it till late. Yeah, he could take the hit with the ogre and not follow, and then do a four plus, three plus dodge with the blitzer, and then two plus rush, and then blitz him with the blitzer, and then you got the catcher for recovery. But this this blitzer's better than the top one. Look, the top one can three. The mighty blow. Three, yeah, three, three, two, two for him. Oh wait, you can get all the way up and around them. Yeah, humans are fast. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Mm. Yeah. And it's mighty blow, yeah, four. 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 And there, there is overtime, yep, sounds like and it actually works now as well. It actually works. And there's no oh. apple either. Whoa. Oh they, they fixed the rerolls of there. Ah! Yeah, and they fixed the rerolls, yeah. That's unbelievable. He did it all without a reroll. And Kazz him! Oh my god, and the apple's gone. Oh my god, well there might not be overtime. <laughs> dead, dead, dead. <laughs> dead, 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 flip me. Dead, dead, dead. Well, I mean, eight times out of nine there's overtime still, but flip me. Oh, and he already activated the catcher. Yeah. It's got another one, but I mean, it's on tackles. So uh, yeah. yeah, so you know when you said that was pretty safe? <laughs> yeah, it wasn't. Well, let's uh, see uh, from the back and that. Any any comments on that, Jim? I did say you can go three three two two. I did call it. I did call that blitz, but it was it was as safe as he could have got. But it's because he had to shore all this up, didn't he? Otherwise, like I was going to put another guy up here, but he couldn't do it. Like you know, you know how you wanted a blitz with this thrower. I wanted to go and make it safe. Or yeah. Over there. But he just couldn't because he he messed all this up down here with this guy not being over there. So because he'd messed up all this behind, that he could have made it so much better. So it's, what's goblin? Movement six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So it's three plus two plus with the goblin, or oh, the rat can just pick it up and score. Can't you? No, it's a GFI for either of them. Ah, what a game, Jim! What a game! It's a pretty much a game, isn't it? Yeah, three, two. Oh, the reroll comes in. 
He's got the pickup, and he's got the GFI. Flip me. Ooh, like a dog. Yeah. He's got no gutter runner though. <laughs> he's got Human no one turn. Runner, yeah. He's got no gutter runner, and the humans might want to. Got catchers. Yeah, and he's only got two snotlings for the LOS. And now he's down to ten men total. Yeah. Two of which are snotlings, and the humans have got nine still, so now the humans have almost got more men, even though they're down a man. <laughs> yeah, it really, sw it really swung when the rogue cast himself, right? Yeah, yeah, that was pretty big, yeah. Oh, oh that's a bit rowdy. Boy, howdy, it's time to get rowdy. I would definitely have a strip ball and a tackle and then just drop a block or a wrestle catcher. I would definitely have a strip and a tackle. Yep. Or frenzy if you if you don't want to tackle. Yeah. Jump up tree you could have. <laughs> I guess a block tree is okay. But k doesn't even like trees, does he? What? He hates trees? Yeah, he's not a big fan of trees. Just rolls twos and fours. Hey. <laughs> he doesn't like because it's slow, right? It's slow. The tree's slow, isn't it? And it doesn't... Like, it's good in, in progression because it stops you guys getting killed and stuff. But, uh... In in NAF style, it's it's one less elf, isn't it, to do elfy stuff with? Yeah. Basically. Aren't you like sacrificing an apo for the tree or something? It's like, isn't it apo extra reroll or tree? Isn't that like the decision? Probably. Yeah. 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 No, the free double like you're what you only look like a guard catcher, right? I guess. Yeah. Like a mighty bow dancer seems shit because it means he hasn't got strip ball or tackle. So the, the mighty blow dancer doesn't seem very good. So yeah, guard catcher. Like a guard catcher's okay. And then you'd be losing the thing, wouldn't you? You'd be losing a. I mean, I, I hate kick on you know, but if that's what you want to do, that's what you want to do, isn't it? <laughs> um. Yeah, I think like. Just dodge your linos, right? Yeah, dodge or wrestle. Like anything that's gonna pay free rolls. Yeah. Mm. He's gonna tackle this skip this snotling and then he's blitzing this goblin, isn't he? But now it's uh might be a little bit harder. Oh yeah, well now, now, because now he can sidestep to here, and if he doesn't get removed, yeah, but it means three dicing him with block and tackle, so it's a pretty safe. It was a pretty safe bet, and then he could blitz in with two or three D for a push. Well, I thought it was fine. I mean, it's not how I would have done it, but it's fine, isn't it? Not what I would have done, but who can say if it's good or bad? <laughs> he hasn't got many players, so that he might have had to have done it this way. Honestly, he might have had to have done it this way. But now he's in a he's in a bit of a pickle, isn't he? He's in a bit of a pickle. I guess he's not going to get the one the touch the one turn. Could blitz with him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then push with him. So he, maybe he could have still done that, but it's probably not worth trying, honestly, is it? It's a remover. Full instant remover. Yeah, because he's defenceless, right? He's defenceless armor seven, and he's block tackle armor eight. So, if 
preparing. So what? He's... Did the KO wake up? No, it bailed. Oh no, hang on, someone wake up. <laughs> right, the the Underworld run defense for overtime. And they've got nine players. Nine players, and the humans have got nine players. Oh yeah, he was only 15, not 16. Yeah, I just assumed 16. So it's nine aside. Everyone's recovered. Nine aside. And... Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a big advantage for humans, isn't it? Like, it's a huge advantage for humans here. Yeah, well, no gutter on him either, which is... Well, no right ogre. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, he's lost a guard and two linos, and he's lost a roger with jugs and a gutter runner with two heads. So, yeah, it's a huge advantage for the humans at this point. Like, Underworld's only two players. Yeah, and he's got the kick, yeah, and there's no one turn, so... This should be an easy win now for Nuru. Commentator's curse. Yep. It's going to be a blitz. Even then, he's like got a team of half rats. <laughs> it's <a> pretty diabolical <laughs> team, isn't yeah. it? Now. <laughs> so today we could see two, the two human teams beat the two uh, underworld teams. Super interesting. Well, that's the thing. You, you don't see, you don't see many humans at tabletops like at the moment because they're not really like there's so many other options. And the thing is, is they have a lot of block. They're fast. They've got mighty blow. They have got tackle. Oh, they got tools. Yeah. They got movement aim. So they're not terrible. They're not against un in this particular matchup, right? Yeah, plus there's only 14 races in Blood Bowl 3 as well, isn't there? So there's no... They don't need to worry about getting shit on by undead. <laughs> They've got that going for them. Yeah, all lizards. Oh no, I guess lizards are still there. Yeah, lizards still shit on them pretty hard. <laughs> but not as hard as lizards shit on uh, dwarves, so you know. There's a human sense. Yeah, there's, there's no like Kemri and all that, is there? Wait, yeah, 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 he was. It was wait, it was the uh, the blitzer. Oh, it was uh, officious ref. Hello. Officious ref, yeah, sent off. His fucking mighty blow got sent off. Oh my god. Thanks, Christopher B. It was obviously really easy to see, you know, and this this <laughs> super intuitive, great UI client. It was so obvious that he'd been sent off. But yeah, the, uh, the mighty blow has been sent off there. Now it's eight humans versus uh, seven underworld. No, eight underworld. That guy didn't get removed. So it is eight aside. And that evens up the odds a fair bit, actually, doesn't it? Losing the mighty blow. Officious ref to Boomer. It's like instead of throw a rock, right? Instead of the throw a rock kickoff event, it's officious ref kickoff event. And the ref just sends somebody off sometimes. He either no, punches it's... them or he sends them off. Yeah. So, they you roll a d6 each, and then whoever wins it doesn't happen to them, it happens to their opponent. And then on a roll of a 1, then they get sent off. If it's a 2+, plus, they are just stunned. Yeah. So, Table Toppers thinks it's worse because there's no apple. But obviously anybody who actually plays real Blood Bowl... Uh, thinks it's not it, as bad because your best player doesn't get killed doesn't for die, no yeah. reason. Yeah. <laughs> it, yeah, on a draw it's both teams um, and then it depends on I can't remember like fans or something like that. There's, there's something that modifies it, I can't remember which one it is. But yeah, on a draw it happens to both players and you can't argue the call either on a yeah. officious ref. Um, hello MC crew, Frikipe has played alright, I would say, um, I would say they've both played alright, yeah, nothing, no like major real terrible mistakes were there, I don't think, I don't think anybody made any, any shocking mistakes, um, and obviously it's hard to make like, yeah, you can't mistakes. even, you can't even use a bribe, which is madness, 
I guess I guess Fricape could have done a better one turn, right? He he gave up on the one turn uh, due to solid defense. And I guess Nuru should have used a better solid defense because he didn't tag the Rogue. No, he didn't give up on the one turn, did he? Wait. Nuru gave up on the one turn, didn't he? Nuru gave up on the one turn. Yeah, the humans did, yeah. Yeah, yeah but Fricape nearly got it. No, yeah, he? Frick yeah, he, he won in nine the pickup. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah sorry, I was miles away. Somebody gave up on the one turn in the previous match, which was also on the world versus humans. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, they blurred together a bit there. Yeah. But obviously got a bit unlucky with the uh with the rogue. The rogue getting cast. Casting himself on a one in nine was pretty brutal. And he'd already used the apple on the rogue getting KO'd. And then the gutter runner got Cast. So it is it's looking even, like a new mm, win. It's not even that, it was the fact that he knocked over his own player before one in nine in and then <laughs> casting himself as well. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. I've played against three rat ogres on tabletop and that's never happened. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I'm pretty sure only one of them has rolled a one <laughs> in sixteen turns. <laughs> Not getting forward this turn, is he? But I guess he can at least move back and keep the ball safe. Ish. <laughs> Ish. He can like make an make like a corner cage here, kind of. Yeah, it's a it's a really weird game with so many like so few players. It's just yeah, right. You want to keep the catchers near the thrower, so like the thrower can hand off to the catchers as well, don't you? What? No, oh, is that a thrower? Oh, that's a thrower, is it? Yeah, the, the thrower's that... got the ball, yeah. Oh my god. I'm not a fan of this. I really liked, uh, you know, having... A cage like this, like an like an L reverse L cage, rather than the handoff fails because he's a human. Boy, howdy! Obviously, you want you want a handoff there because obviously you want the ball in the move. Yeah, so you can do stuff, but now it looks. Yeah, doing it like that is a bit risky, isn't it? Oh, he's not scaring it. No. Oh, I guess actually, I, it's a hard one, isn't it? Because if you scatter it, you've got like three out of five, which are, well, four out of five, which are terrible. Uh, but you have got three, well, you've got one amazing scatter. Actually, two amazing scatters, right? Hmm. I would have thought, I think I would have scattered it, but it's not easy to... I guess it's. I guess there's a lot worse than there is better. Yeah, and you might like because you've kicked here. You might be trying to like scrape a, a one-one draw and a kicks win, right? Did you just one D there? Oh no, that's not guard. Okay. I thought this guy was guard. I saw the yellow ring and thought it was guard because of having these fucking rings on. <laughs> I was basing everything and hoping for the best. Could uphill the ogre. Uphilling big guys, obviously, much better now. Uh, Mighty Blow is turned off on the opposing turn. So I don't hate uphilling the ogre here. He might even knock him over. He just goes for the dodge pickup, gets it. Dodge Did he pop back. dodge from the first one? No, nope, he's fine. He's fine. I have no idea, honestly. To be fair, I haven't got the VA. Did pop dodge on the? No, he popped dodge on the second one. So. Uh, yeah, he's got the ball on a gobble. Obviously, instant instant two D on the ball, but still, not with tackle, and not with block either. Like it's only the thrower that's got the clear 
a clear smash on the ball, isn't he? But no block and no tackle. Ooh. Only a push. Or do you take the both down? Hmm. Does not take the both down. No balls. No <laughs> balls. All the hits. Oh man. What a swinging game, it's been pretty wild, hasn't it? I bet neither of these guys are enjoying it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, they might afterwards, they might think, oh, that was a great game afterwards, but not right now. No, I'm sure Yeah, not. this is where he's just like, for God's sake! <laughs> oh, what a cars. What a cars. That's huge. Freeze the tackler for next turn. But that goblin might be away. If he rolls some dice next turn for a P, maybe he can get, you know, a little screen for the gobble. You want to be going back here, I think. Stop that goblin uh, getting past you. I mean, he's not very fast, though, is he? No. But like, you don't, just don't want to over pursue, that's the problem. Like, keep him in the way so he can't just 3 plus out his other guys to help him, you know? Like, he's gone exactly the wrong place right behind him. He just Ooh, wants to go forward. Yeah. He just wants to go forward here. You know what's going to happen though, he's going to 1 in 9 the dodge and the ball's going to pop on the floor and bounce right to him though. It might do, it might do. But you just want to, you just want to go for it now, like double GFI even. Yeah, yeah, you want to, you want to keep that wrestle safety, right? Yeah. Yeah. What is this? Three plus, three plus, three plus, and then we dodge the the line rat and blitz the one that's on the uh, leader, and then we can get a screen behind, and then the snotling dodges last, right? And then you've got a screen. One, can, two, you three, can blitz four. Blitz the catcher, five. and then if you power him. You've done something. If you just push him, then you can dodge this guy off as well. That that's okay, right? Blitz this catcher. Yeah, I was gonna. Hang on, which? Uh, yeah, I was. Go... I was gonna do the goblin dodges first. I think. I guess it's three plus three plus two plus two plus. So I do the goblin dodge with the ball, and then we do the two dodges and the two GFIs, <laughs> and then we dodge dodge the line rat on the right and blitz the uh, catcher that you're talking about. And then we make a screen, so like uh, behind, like do you know what I mean? The, the the leader just moves over two squares. The leader does the blitz, though, right? So then he doesn't have to dodge first. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I uh, might start with that, so at least something good's happened because you've got you've got like you know you've got you've got built-in rerolls with the goblin dodges anyway. So I think. Oh, he doesn't need an assist. Yeah, he doesn't need an assist. Mm. Yeah, gets yeah, the yeah this is... Oh, gets the pow. He needs the GFI. He didn't do the GFI. He didn't do the GFIs, no. But he's in range. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He is in range, but I would have done. And look, I, oh, he, I did, done he did one GFI. I would have done both. Yeah, I would have done both. But the thing, what he can do now is. Oh, that wasn't a blitz! Oh my god, that wasn't a blitz! Well, now he can one. Yeah, he's got the 2D blitz. Oh no, he's. But, uh, he's <laughs> that wasn't a blitz. Flip me. No, no, this, this is quite nice. This is quite nice. So, like, and then he blitzes with this guy and brings him up and round behind. He really wants the pal here. Gets the pal. Wow. And then he's going to go two squares left of the leader, right? And then the other guy yeah. is going to dodge and then he's going to come right round the back. So, this is actually looking. Yeah, pretty sick. Pretty yeah, sexy, goblin, yeah. Three, four, five, and he six. can do this with the goblin, right? Ooh, I guess I don't like the block. I think just go for the goblin here. The goblin's yeah. In the just get this. I mean, he gets away. He here. gets it away anyway. Yeah. The goblin still got one in nine anyway because he was. Tight. Yeah, but he could have failed. He could have failed. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. yeah. So just, just do the gobble first. That's wow. pretty. That that's a turn and a half. That is. That is a turn and a half. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I, I really, I really like the uh, like. 
you know, my idea, but this does work. Yeah, I, I liked my idea as well, Jim. <laughs> yeah, but this looks this works out really great, doesn't it? This is probably better uh, than what I was thinking. If you'd let me finish my sentence, Tim. <laughs> I was only joking. I, I don't think this is over yet because there's no way the underworld are going to stall this out for four more turns. So the humans. Oh yeah, that's a like, good point. Yeah. Fuck me with Sin doing oh, yeah. GFIs to get in range. It doesn't really matter getting in range because they can't stall it out. Yeah. Yeah. No. The reason like, I was saying do the GFIs was. Um, well, just for sort of, I was going to put the screen slightly further up, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a good point. It's 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 full. It's full overtime. It's not. It's not full goal and goal. Instant overtime. Yeah. If this was goal and goal. Yeah. Oh man, it's so easy. I mean, he's game. he's yeah, he's going to have to score that next turn though, because there's there's too much there's going to be too much pressure at the end of this one. And this is why the wrestler, this is why the wrestler last turn going round the back was so bad. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because I'd... if he doesn't put the catcher there, none of this happens. Yeah. Exactly. Or if yeah. it does happen, you just you can blitz the ball with wrestle, right? It's, yeah. Uh... Yeah. No, I hate I hate putting him behind. Yeah. Even though it's... he's movement eight, even though he's movement eight, I just hated yeah. taking him out of the good spaces and putting him into a bad space. <laughs> yeah. Like you want your threats coming from multiple sides and. You you basically took him out of the game for your opponent. <laughs> yeah, for that for that turn, yeah. Yeah. Like he, he didn't want to dodge back. He didn't want to dodge back with that goblin. Yeah, you know? exactly. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah the he went, goblin he was went. only going one way. He was only ever coming down this side. So either put him in the way of that where that goblin wanted to go or put him in the way of where all these guys wanted to support the goblin. And then he just put him behind him. So he just like literally just took him away. But then I guess it, it shepherds him to an early score, I guess. Yeah. But I mean, uh, again, I think he's, he's, the fact that he's got five players shepherds him to an early score anyway. Yes. You know, so. Yes, there is that indeed. Tim. Yes. <laughs> you're not gonna, you're not gonna be like, oh, I'm scoring on turn eight. I, like, I, I will X cage with everything I have. <laughs> And this is the thing: if he'd done the extra GFI last turn, then he could have, uh, he could have, like, you know, this would have been a little bit better for him. But now I guess he's just got a blitz, and then if he doesn't pow, he's just got to dodge. And double GFI. He's got to go. He's got to go for it this turn. He's just got to. And that's the thing, right? With Underworld going into the half with like eight players, losing the toss, like. Getting a, a touchdown and having an opportunity to get to kicks is the best you could have hoped for. Yeah, yeah, 100%. So, like, if you go back to what you thought at the start of overtime, like, that's absolutely, you take that. Oh, Whereas, yeah, yeah. This is, this like, is now he's probably thinking, like, yeah. It's still amazing because you're at worst 50% to win. Like, if, if you get this turn off, you're at worst 50% to win, aren't you? Which yeah, exactly. Amazing. Yeah. Like there's no way, there's no way Nuru was scoring twice, <laughs> but you do have to blitz this guy, and you do have to, uh, you do have to dodge double GFI. There's no other players like uh, there's no. And uh, yeah, I someone guess you could one D. Came... Wait, yeah, you could one D. You could one D this role. Yeah, you could one D him actually, because then that only. Oh, because the one in nine. <laughs> 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 oh my oh! god! What are you doing? <laughs> So close. Diced. No, you're not very happy as freaking <laughs> You were quite happy for a minute, but now you fucked. <laughs> might not score it. Nura might not score anyway, actually, here. He's got to get the ball and score, hasn't he? And now the ball's on the, on the sidelines, so it could go into the crowd if he fails the pickle. It's a thoroughly entertaining game. It's one that I'm mm. very happy I'm not playing in. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that's safe to say. Oh my god, another one in there. He's got block. Oh, 
Oh, he's blocked his path for the uh, catcher. Did not like that. He's blocked his path for the catcher. Because this catcher, you know, he's got to go around, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, he might come back with a blitzer. One, two. Because if he went that way, he could have gone forward. But I guess, I um, guess he can go back. I yeah, he can come back. back. No, with a blitzer, he can come back. One, two, One, three, two. four, five, six, seven. That's not good because he can get served, right? Because of goblins making dodges. I guess he's got a tackle there. That tackle there makes the makes the blitzer pick up probably safe, actually. And then this catcher can go around the back there. Oh, yeah, that was pretty good, actually. So I think the best play was the catcher to here um, so that these guys can't dodge out easily. Or, like, here if you could make it. And then the blitzer, yeah, I think that was correct. Correct! Whereas now, the human just goes back one. And then this... Okay, he goes forward. GFIs. GF, double GFIs forward. Big brave balls. He's on the sideline. Uh, uh, and there uh, are goblins. There are goblins yeah, around it's and like, on the it's, sideline. It's three plus three plus three plus for one. Ah, oh, the guard there the makes tackle, it hard. Yeah, the tackle and the tackle is on them, and the oh, guard's yeah. there, and there's no re rolls, so it's uh. It's not actually looking great, but I mean, you, I think you still do it, right? That this goblin just blitzes. Uh, he hasn't. How many revolves has he? Oh, he hasn't got any. No. Yeah, minus two D against Russell is still great because he has to. Yeah. I mean, it's still pretty terrible, right? He had a three plus away from tackle, then two more dodges with dodge, and a GFI. And then an uphill. Oh, so was, he's rolled oh, at wow. six there. So it was pretty. It was still pretty bad. I guess he could blitz this line on and then get two players back. That's not bad, is it? Blitzer can blitz him and then have two players in front. What a game! What an absolute this belt of a game! Yeah, this is a crazy uh, game. Quite enjoyed this. But like I say, purely because I'm not partaking in it. But <laughs> you can't be going for the six plus serve. Uh, he might be just blitzing the guard and then, yeah. like, blitzing the guard, pushing it. Yeah, I don't really like it. Uh, this was rowdy. This was very rowdy. It was a bit I think if you're doing this play, you, you blitz with the blitzer. Well, you push him down and then you step down. Right, so then it's like one on one tackle versus the. Yeah, yeah, yeah and then step down. Yeah, or just, I mean, if you just followed. Oh, you mean no, no, you don't. Out. You don't want to follow. Yeah, yeah, because you don't want to follow because then it's a two dice straight away. Whereas yeah. if you go, if you go down one, it's a one. Well, I guess it's still a two dice, but you have to put the assist in, right? Yeah. And then, it, and then it leaves him one on one with a tackle with no chance of parole. No chance of parole. No, I, I, no, I didn't. I didn't really like this. I think he should have. Uh... Not done this. <laughs> he should have had five more players on the pitch. That's what he should have. Yeah. <laughs> like not nothing's gonna look good here, is it? At the end of the day, that's the problem. But now they're is now he gonna? Is it? it so. Yeah. Yeah. Now he gets the two D. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I think he probably had to do the goblin. Honestly, he probably had to do the goblin surf. Honestly, he probably had to because this was just so unlikely. Oh, this is a one in nine, right? I guess one in eighty-one here would be hilarious. Ah, I diced. <laughs> Deutscht. Yeah. And now he gets to fuck off. What a game. That was a, that was a hell of a game, yeah. This is almost certainly going to be game of the tournament, I would say. Yeah, uh, what a game. I missed the first half of it as well. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was a crazy, crazy game. Oh, poor Fricker Pay, mate. He'll be... Uh... Livid with the one in eighty one. Yeah, <clears> I mean, something like that's it. Just happens though sometimes, doesn't it? You just got to accept the fact that it happened. Like you just got to go. That is the game you play. Well, that's blah blah blah. It's, uh, it's supposed to happen sometimes. It's supposed to happen one in eighty one times. Yeah, exactly. So, and like, there's obviously been more than that many blocks this game, right? Probably move over time. Maybe, maybe not. No, but, very unlikely to make eighty one blocks in a game. But still, I mean, for happens. both teams. Oh yeah, for both, for both teams. teams yeah. Like combined, added together, right? Oh yeah, yeah, almost certainly. In, in like 30, 
two turns or whatever it is. Well, no, it's 48 turns, isn't it? So. Yeah, almost certainly with both teams. And I yes, feel like they must. Yeah, of course they are, and they're exhausted. Yeah, yeah. I think mean, pissed off is like if, if, if Ricker Bay's probably pissed off, and Nuru is probably just relieved. Oh, He's probably wow. not even happy. Double skulls, double skulls. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> and he gets the cash. <laughs> What, what a mental game. <laughs> all these guys out, all these guys out. And he might make out. a blunder and score. Oh no, he has to score, doesn't he? Yeah, he's got to score, yeah. Uh, but so there's, the, no, there's, no, uh, there's no gutter for the one. Go on it, yeah. I mean, you can still get a timeout, right? No, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, the timeout, yeah, oh my god, I was thinking like you can run out of time, it's like, well it doesn't matter, he won't lose, do you know what I mean, like, <laughs> I thought you were thinking, no, like, an extra you know, turn, Jim, an extra yeah, because he's got 3.45 and I was like, it doesn't matter if he times out, because, <laughs> I mean, timeout, I don't really, I mean, a quick snap, maybe, One, two, three, four, five. He's oh, quick snaps, years. yeah, quick snap's weird now, because you can't move the guys on the LOS, so it's actually not, that good is it? He's got Possibly. six players. So. No, even and even with a timeout, I'm not. I'm not betting on him. <laughs> ah, mate, we, I run out of timeout. So a timeout, he'll have a chance. But yeah, it's probably, probably he will have a chance. Yeah, just because the humans have got seven. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe Nuro's won this, man. Honestly, I cannot believe he's won this. Yeah, it's pretty crazy. Oh, the guy on the bench was sent off, Miracle, sent off by... Oh, the mighty blow, yeah, yeah. mighty blow. Officious ref. He didn't, he didn't foul with him. Yeah, He's they not wanted... a lunatic. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way, yeah, they wanted to tone down, like, um, uh, kick-off events. So instead of throwing a rock, we've got uh, a player sent off for the whole game that you can't argue or apo. Yeah. And then they, they wanted to tone down one-turners, so they created a team with swarming... Pitchy, like that can use all frenzy. three re rolls on the turn yeah. that they try to frenzy. <laughs> yeah, movement nine. They'll give them a two plus thrower. Like honestly, <laughs> like yeah. There's no natties anymore, but we're gonna make one turn incredibly easy or easier. Yeah, funny isn't it. Crazy stuff. So there you go. Anyway, pretty pretty great match there. But the best match so far. Two level 100 coaches. So you know they're brilliant. Uh, Commiserations to Frickapay, congratulations to Nuru. Thank you very much, Dimmy G, being amazing having you in the booth for this amazing game. I enjoyed this one, mate. <laughs> um, I, I, like I say, because I wasn't playing, <laughs> it was fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah, oh god, fuck playing this game, but uh, yeah. Absolutely, like, yeah, <laughs> I, like, honestly, I don't know if Nuru's even, like, happy. He's probably just relieved, like, you yeah. know, it's like, just relief. It's not, just <laughs> madness. Indeed. Ah, oh, thanks to Vuma, and thanks for watching everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.